everyone, my name is Tamara Chambers and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking about my C2E2 experience, mainly the cosplays that I wore at C2E2. There's some other filming going on in my house right now, so I'm sitting in front of my bookshelves in my office. I'm looking a little crusty and sounding a little crusty because I got con cred. I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to go as and it shifted quite a bit throughout the last week leading up to C2E2. My plan was to go as a Fallout 4 character, a mechanic, and then a nylon bag, canvas bag, cosplay, Fallout 76, inside joke, and then a Kyrie from Kingdom Hearts 3. Only one of those happened. I wanted to do Kyrie from Kingdom Hearts 3. I have her keyblade and a wig for her and shoes that are perfect for her. And then I bought a bunch of material and I have a sewing machine, but I, I was not gonna put myself through the, the disappointment of not being able to do it. Ayana teaching me how to sew and Heather how to sew is gonna be a part of a new show coming up soon that I'll get into just a little bit. It's pretty exciting. So Kyrie didn't happen. And then instead of the fallout mechanic, which I have done, I'm gonna pull out for some other things coming up. I actually went as Mermaid Man because I was watching Spongebob one night and text my brother that I really wanna go as Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. He's like, which one do you wanna be? And I was like, well, I'm short and round and you're tall and skinny, so I'll be Mermaid Man. And then the last day I went as a Pokemon trainer with Heather and Ayana and that goes into the show that I was talking about earlier. We are bringing $20 cosplay, which we've done on this channel. We made $20 Pokemon trainers as the Pokemon. I won't be showing you what we did there because that's gonna be our episode one, I'm pretty sure, fingers crossed. But I do wanna talk to you guys about the wigs. This is my Bulbasaur wig. It's been sitting on my floor because after the Sunday con, I was just like so ready to get into bed and eat a sandwich uh, that I threw everything down. But it still looks freaking beautiful. I was able to secure a really awesome wig sponsorship for the $20 cosplay show, Cost Wigs. Wigs are a pretty big expense, so we wouldn't ever put that into the $20 limit that we have for our cosplays, but we still wanted them to look really cool and I was reached out to by someone from Coswigs and it has been awesome so far. They were great to work with and these wigs are out of this world. I am going to use Ayana's red one for a Kim Possible cosplay. That was another possible one that I was gonna bring out for C2E2. Heather's is this ombre blue for Squirtle. It's outrageously pretty. There's a link down below and a coupon code Tamara that you can use for $15 off. I super recommend it if you're looking for a wig. Okay, I wanna show you my canvas bag, nylon bag thing. If you don't know, Fallout 76 had this giant $200 pre-order and it was supposed to come with the power helmet and it was all supposed to come inside this canvas bag and they sent out nylon bags instead and people were furious. Bethesda did not handle it very well. But also people were so livid about this bag. I understand if you ordered the bag, but like people who were never gonna order this bag were just fuming. Like, the Bethesda had taken their firstborn child. Again, I understand why people were upset. I ordered the bag and I was really bummed about the quality of the bag. But <laughs> it was just like this huge giant blow up on the internet and so I was kind of poking fun at that. I turned my nylon bag into a romper. These are where my legs go inside there. And I tucked this top part into a corset that I had on and I walked around with this canvas bag cosplay sign. It was a little obscure, not everyone knew what it was, but when people did know what it was, it was very exciting. I think I'm the first person to go as a canvas bag cosplay from Fallout 76, so that's cool. I've never been the first to do a cosplay of anything. I love that. I went to the dollar store to get this and some wood to make my sign and they only had back scratchers, so my uh, sign holder is actually, it's a back scratcher. Okay, last but not least, my Mermaid Man cosplay. <laughs> this was thrown together in a day and a half. I bought this orange sweater at the thrift store, which I'm gonna wear in real life because it fits really well, it's really cute. And then I had this 
corset style belt that's just really, really thick and it was perfect to turn around and I Velcroed this M on it. Also, I made it Velcro so I could turn it to one bow. So many people were like, it's on mini Tamara. It needs to be one bow. I know, guys. I know the reference. <laughs> I made this just out of uh, floor foam, EVA foam, and painted it yellow. And it, I mean, totally fine. I did have to buy four things on Amazon, which I was trying not to do for any of these. The Pokemon one was a $20 cosplay, and then the bag one was, I just made it out of a bag, but this one, I had to buy four things off of Amazon, which bummed me out, but it turned out so well that it, it's fine. I bought these gloves. I bought these, which were $7. They're like rave shorts. They're black mermaid pattern. I love them. I don't know where I will ever use them again, and they're way too big. His fuzzy slippers. I was gonna get ones that were more accurate, because he doesn't have an open toe on his, but these were the most expensive thing, and all of the ones, even ones with closed toes, were expensive, and I didn't want to spend $16 on some things that I were never gonna wear again. I'm definitely gonna wear these again. They're super comfy, and I don't know I love them. And then I bought this white hair wax and it was so gross. I had some green tights, thankfully. And then also last but not least is the, the boob covers. I saw these at the dollar store like two years ago. They were, they were just white plastic shell covers. And I think it was like in all their summer stuff for some reason, but I picked them up because I was like, I mean, I will definitely use these at some point for something. So I just covered them in purple paint and they were perfect. And I already had them and they were a dollar two years ago. So that was the best. Anytime I see anything at the dollar store like that, I pick it up. I just bought a pair of rabbit ears and a little rabbit tail because it's Easter stuff right now. And at some point I'll need to be a rabbit in a nostalgia critic scene or for a stupid video I'm doing on here. So I always pick up stuff like that. It's, it's $1. It's $1. I unfortunately didn't get that many photos. It was a crazy weekend. By Sunday, I was feeling pretty anxious, honestly. It was just so much at once. Um, so I didn't get as many pictures as I wanted, but to see a lot more of the Pokemon trainers, look out for the $20 cosplay episode. I'll be posting it all over my social medias. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye. And a special shout out to Cast Wigs for these amazing styles that have lasted all day through the con. Thank you so, so very much.